not go through until the witch disappears. Won't go through until the witch disappears. No touching actors. They no won't touch you. Uh, they won't them. touch you. <laughs> Always rules. We are here with Days Living Dead at a home haunt. You know, so much is made of the big crazy stuff we do at Hell's Gate, but we all started somewhere. We all started somewhere. I love home haunts. I love the energy. I love the moxie. Uh, we all start, you know, low tech, not a lot of money. It's about being scrappy uh, and dedicated to what you're doing. And I was recommended to come out and see what these kids are doing by one of the top judges of Haunted House Chicago, Chris Sorowski. So Chris Sorowski says I should come out and check this out. I'm really excited. I'm here with John LaFlamboy at the Nightmare Haunted House. <laughs> I'm Mike Peters. I'm Michelle Peters, and the Nightmare Haunted House lives in our house. My son Michael was probably 13 at the time and approached us and asked if he could have a haunted house in our garage. Actually, he wanted it in the basement at first, and I said, nope, because, you know, too many strangers coming into our house. But the more I thought about it, I you know, was like, you know, Mike, we need to really think about this because I felt like it was cultivating Michael's interests with building and designing. He, you know, always wanted to be an architect and just never would have imagined where it was all going to go from that initial conversation and us finally saying yes. Nightmare on three. One, One, two, three, nightmare! My name's Michael Peters. I am the owner of the Nightmare Haunted House. This will be our 10th season. We started back in 2014 as a yard display. The next following year, we kind of decided, well, let's do a walkthrough. <laughs> Every year, just pushing, pushing our limits, you know, doing the best we can scenically, acting. You know, we've been watching shows like Days of the Living Dead, watching them build their scenes, plan, kind of just fall in love with it. Um, and say, I want to own my own pro haunt. I want to run it like that. In a sense, be like, I want to be John LaFlamboy. To create this actor base of, you know, where they can come here, feel safe, you know, thrive in the environment, and fall in love with Halloween just like I have. When I started here, the sets and everything, like, I thought they were so cool. It was terrifying, but it was cool. And now where I'm at today, I look back on it and I was like, I thought that was cool. Like, what if like past me saw what today looks like? It has grown so much and it is unbelievable the journey that we have taken. That was bothering me because the red lines aren't lined up because that was from last year. <laughs> you just gotta look at it at the right angle. There are a lot of pros and cons to being a home haunt versus being a pro haunt. Cons would be space. Uh, space is everything. We don't, you know, have it. What you doing back there? Well, since we're in a garage, uh, we kind of have to work around the stuff that has to stay in the garage, so our garage fridge is actually behind our haunt. Isn't that interesting? It can be a challenge. Being a charity haunt, obviously all of our proceeds, we don't even charge a mission or anything, all of our proceeds go towards Sherwood Hugs. Our core trio, we put in a lot of our personal funds. We all work our jobs, we all work on, you know, we do our school work, but we pull from our own pockets to try to just make the best show possible. A pro is, it's creative freedom. You kind of get to do um, what's in your mind. What do you want to do? What theme do you want to do? It's a great pro to be able to have ideas of my own put into consideration and to be thought out and eventually brought to life. I really just look forward to pushing the limits of what people thought was possible in a home haunt. I really look forward to being able to show everybody what we can do and show them that home is where the fear is. see ourselves as obviously as close to pro as we can be, but we're a home haunt. And every single night, you know, when the dust settles, me and Michael just sit there and go, John LaFlamboy walked through and didn't hate it. Oh, there's a yeah. in your hand. That's a weird way to make friends. You know, watching him smile, it's just, everything just seems to be coming full circle. Oh, he didn't say, wow, this sucks, you should quit. He gave us advice. Each single room had its own identity. Each room had its own energy. Each room made me want to look around, I mean, because I'm a weirdo, made me want to hang out more and look around and see all the different details inside. And your actors are fantastic. Yeah. Really well done, guys. Really
really well done. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. I feel honored. I feel you know blessed with this opportunity. It feels like I've been day by day learning more about what's possible than I ever thought. I'm just gonna go around the house. Oh, I promise I'll be right back. I promise I'll be right back. I'm, I'm not gonna be right back. I'm definitely not gonna be right back. Why do we do this? Um, it's gotta be the community. It was good. so good. It scared the crap out of me. It was the best. Yes, it's you know a home hunt. Yes, it's free. Yes, it's you know smaller than you know your pro hunts, but. It packs a punch and they love it. Thank you for making this, this is fun! I killed it myself, isn't it great? <laughs> I found home here. I found people that I love and a environment that I love. Embracing it more and more just makes me a lot happier. There are so many things here that just bring me joy. I had a friend ask me uh, one time, she's like, how are you guys gonna all walk away from this? And I said, you know what? I have a feeling I'm gonna be 75 years old and still doing this. What it means to me is just how close I've gotten with him because of being involved in what he loves. The rest of the season, I'm just looking forward to having fun. Eating pizza very carefully. I yeah, am. Yeah. I don't want to mess up. Everybody look at her eat pizza right now. I don't want to be anywhere else yeah. when I'm here. It's a great time. I can't yell at home, but I can yell here all I want. With our team, with me, Michael, and Vinny, the bond that we have, it's going to be a good one. Turns out you cut off the wrong limb one time and they fire you. I don't care.